Hi guys, it's Lexa here. So today I'm going to do one of the new monsters from Monster High. Um, it's an inspired tutorial, so it may not look quite like her, but today I'm going to do Ava Trotter. So let us begin. Yay! Here's my face before. And I'm just putting on my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and just putting this on with that little doe foot applicator. And then I am just going to put this on lightly with my finger to spread that all around my eye space. I'm using my Sigma Cream de Couture palette and I'll be using the color Violet Whip and it's a really nice light lavender color. I don't know what it's called Violet but it's definitely like a lavender color. So we just put that on in the inner corner and now taking Lavender Honey from the same palette I'm just going to put this on the outsides of my eye and just kind of blend up into my crease in the little V of my eye, focusing mainly on the outer portion. And now for my brows, I'm using from the same palette the color Cassius, or Cassius, Cassius, something like that. And I'm just taking that and running this through my brows. Just for now, we're going to go back and kind of fluff up her brows a little bit more. Using my Jordana just black crayon eye pencil, I put some white in the rim of my eye. I didn't show you just because white in the inside of my eye. Um, so I'm just putting the Jordana like right under on the little rim. And now I'm taking my NYX uh, black liquid liner and I'm just going to run that through right on top of where we just put the Jordana. We did put it on the upper lash line as well. Next, I'm using my Makeup Forever. Just, uh, I think it's the Smoky Extravagant Sample Sample Mascara, and I'm just running this through my eyelashes. Don't forget to do your bottoms too. Uh, don't forget to curl them as well. Um, I'm put some fake lashes on, some really big ones. I think it's called. They're from Bat Those Lashes, I think, Fright Night. Um, and then I'm just going back over the band of the lash, and I'm just putting that NYX liquid liner there. Moving on to face, be sure to clean up any fallout before you move on. I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime Fortified Skin Cream Enhancer. Skin <laughs> Enhancer. And I'm just putting this on right under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, on my forehead. Now I'm putting on my NARS concealer in custard. I just kind of dot it and then I rub it in, um, just kind of taking away, away, away the redness. I'm using my uh, Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation in the color 250. I'm just going to put this on all over my face space. It doesn't really match right now, and it kind of clogged my pores, so I'm. Try to kind of stay away from this at the moment, um, just maybe until summer's gone. It's a really nice foundation. I really love it, um, but I like I love the formula and everything about it. But maybe it just wasn't. It's not right for me at the at the moment. You know what I mean? So I'm just taking some loose translucent powder. I believe it's from Cinema Secrets, and just putting this on all over my face, just kind of to set that in, so you don't look so greasy like a cake ball. Now I'm taking my Sigma Cream de Couture blush in Cherry Apple. I don't know why I didn't show it, but I definitely used that. I'm just kind of contouring. I'm using uh, a dense fluffy brush, but I'm just kind of contouring. And now I'm using, I believe it's called Fuchsia Fierce from Maybelline. It's part of like the Violet Purple Collection or something like that. It came out like fall last year. And I, I'm just putting this on all over. I'm going back again with Cassius. Uh, it's kind of a deep plum. I know it looks like navy blue kind of, but it's like a deep plum color. And I'm taking um, a very angled brush and kind of making like an angry mark in the front of her face. She's not angry, but that's just how her brows look. And I'm just kind of making lines going out in a way and just kind of fluffing them up uh, and stuff like that. And I also use Cassius. I just put, uh, I used a really small detail brush and I just took lines like under my eyes because it looks she like she had feathers coming out from the bottom lashes but I did not have time nor did I have the right materials to put feathers under my lashes otherwise that would have looked really cool 
So I just did just some lines to make it look a little bit more interesting and a little bit more dark. I believe she's the daughter of a siren and a senator or something like that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun making this, as I always say, but I always have fun creating these um, Monster High girls. Um, they all kind of look the same. Well, some of them, okay, I shouldn't say that. Um, a lot of them use pinks and purples, that's what I'm trying to say. A lot of them use pink and purple, but it's fun to create it in my own kind of fashion and way and stuff like that. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please leave those in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get to them very soon. Be sure to stay continued for videos to come up. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all. See you in my next video. Bye.